Hey guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this super cool galaxy themed dinnerware set. This was based on a pin I received from my friend Melissa and I'll put that pin below. But if you're interested in seeing how I created this, stick around and I'll show you. It was super easy and a lot of fun. See you in a minute. Okay guys, let's get started and I'll tell you what we're using today. I have a cereal bowl and I have a big like soup mug, if you will. These were super cheap. I got them at a local dollar store. So something like that. You don't want a plate because you don't want the paint to touch your food. So something you can paint the outside of. We're also going to use some masking tape. We're going to use I used an assortment of acrylic paints, um, just things I had laying around. So these are folk art, Americana, um, in, you know, purples, blues. You're going to need a white. And I also use this um, black tie by Americana. You know, use the colors of your choice, but you want it kind of, you know, galactic. You're going to need something to put the paint on. So I like to use these little spouncers, if you will, but I also have some makeup sponges. You can use a sea sponge, uh, you, a brush, you know, something to put paint on. We're also going to use some decoupage. Not a lot, a little bit. I think this could be optional, but the reason I'm showing you this today is because I'm actually using some leftover paint from my Cosmic Boho candle holders, and I used decoupage with that. So we're going to add a little bit to our paint today, but I'm thinking this may be optional. But we're going to use it anyway. Use your, try it either way if you want. Um, also have an old toothbrush here that we're going to use to make spatters, our stars. You're going to need some type of a mixing bowl to mix your paint up with. Um, I also have a little palette dish a chopstick for mixing if you want. I guess you could use a brush too. Um, also some glitter of your choice. I have some, you know, kind of glow-in-the-dark sparkles. I have these DecoArt Craft Twinkles, which is like a glitter glue, some leftover glitter, anything kind of galactic. And this glitter glue is one of my all-time favorites. I show this often. And it's, I'm getting low on this. I don't know what I'm going to do when this is gone. This was actually a Harry Potter glitter. But it's wonderful because it's full of stars and moons. And, you know, I'm going to be sad when it's gone. But anyway, some kind of, you know, cosmic glitter. And then at the end, we're going to use a sealant. And normally I'm not a big fan of gloss. But in this case, we are going to use a gloss sealant. Use whatever you'd like. This one happens to be from Americana. Um, and obviously when you use these things, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, preferably outside. Um, this stuff gets all over everything and, you know, just use good precautions when you use things like this. Don't breathe it in. All right, so that's what we're going to be using. Now, this is super simple, you guys. You're going to love these. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is to mask off you know, an edge, just in case you want to drink from your soup bowl or anything like that. Uh, if you don't think that's going to be an issue for you, don't do this part. But I think it's, you know, important to do. I'm going to, this is a little hard for me to see here, but we're just going to try to evenly tape an edge around, all right, all the way around the bowl. right at the top and this will stay the whole time that we're painting and while we're painting you're gonna take care to not paint on the inside of the bowl because we actually are going to use these to eat out of etc I don't think that these would be dishwasher safe um, I'm going to recommend hand washing I don't own a dishwasher so I don't know if you want to live dangerously, take your chances. But 
Anyway, okay, so we have this masked off. This is so simple, you guys. I'll cut that off later. The first thing we're going to do, and, you know, it's kind of optional, I guess, if you already have a black bowl, but I am going to just take some of this Americana black paint. This is in black tie. And we're just going to give the whole bowl a good base coat and just cover the whole thing. This will be our midnight sky background and this will give us a good base for the paint we're going to put on top. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the whole bowl, cover this with black paint, um, if you have black gesso, you could use black gesso. I don't. So I'm doing this, all right? And I will see you back here when this coat is nice and dry, and we'll go on. See you in a minute. Okay, so this is based dry all the way around. We're going to set this aside for a minute, and now comes the fun part. Now, like I said before, I have some leftover supplies from when I did the candle holder video. So... Here is my purple that I have left over, and this is just acrylic paint mixed with decoupage and glitter and a little bit of water. So we have this already mixed. I'll mix one for you just to show you in case you missed that video. Here's this, and then we have a lighter one, and I did a variety of glitters in them, but just play around. Again, I don't even know if the decoupage is necessary for this product project but I wanted to use up what I had already mixed okay we have a little bowl I have a tablespoon here let's do two tablespoons of decoupage to one tablespoon of paint and I'm not I don't think I'm going to mix any water in with this it's going to be soupy enough and I'll use this leftover paint in some other project Okay, so two of those, and then I'm going to use this Americana Multi-Surface Satin in Iris. Oh, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Okay, I have an old brush here. And let's see. Next, I'm just going to add some random glitter. This is left over from other projects. Let's just dump some in there. We'll throw some of this glow-in-the-dark glitter. Just a little bit. And then my favorite, which I'm going to have to do some research and see if I can find some more moon and star magical glitter. I'm sure there's something out there. Okay. And then this is the fun part for me. Just get to play. Mix it up good. And the glitter kind of all gets blended in with the paint and the decoupage, but trust me, it comes out in the final, pro, you know, end result. Okay, so now there is no exact scientist, science to this. We're just going to go in. I told you I'm a fan of the Spouncer. Uh, I'm going to take random colors. Uh, let's start with what we just mixed up, actually. And I'm just going to take some. Not too much, you know, and we're going to make our nebulas and, you know, pretty much you cannot go wrong here, you guys. All right. You can just kind of pretend you're in outer space looking around, look at some pictures online. There are a million galaxy-inspired posts, you know. Um, but just kind of do this, right? And everyone is going to be a little bit different, all right? 
And I'm going to move on to the next color. Let's try this blue here. And same thing. You kind of want it to be not so um, dark, or maybe you do want it dark, but remember your black background is the sky shining through, and these colors are, you know, gases and Milky Ways and things like that. So you're just going to kind of go back and forth with all your colors and let them dry if you want, you know, a little bit in between. I get impatient with it because it's exciting. Um, if you don't like the way something looks, you can kind of play with it a little bit before it dries. If you really don't like it, just paint over it with the black and start all over again. Um, like that's too round for me, you know? So you want it to be diffuse. There's no hard edges, you know? So I am just gonna go around and do a variety of colors. Um, let me show you this darker purple, which is my, or fuchsia. It looks like pink, but oh yeah. Now we're talking. Um, yeah, and so I'm just gonna, same thing, go around, kind of blend it in until you're happy with the way it looks. You'll get there quicker than you think, trust me. And like I said, if you if you overdo it, which I always kind of have a tendency to overdo it, just start over. But just this subtle effect looks so beautiful, you know? And because I have that glitter in there, you're going to see these stars and things coming through. If you don't like that effect, leave the glitter out, you know? Use your imagination. So I'm going to kind of go back and forth a little bit here with a few more colors. I'm, um, I also have been working on our cup at the same time. So I'll do the same thing to that. And then when this is totally dry and I'm happy with it, I'm going to come back and we're going to add our stars. See you in a few minutes. Okay, these are dry. Um, I told you I was working on the cup at the same time. And each one's different, obviously. And... I just went back and forth and back and forth and with both of these I went in with some black acrylic paint just straight up black with no glitter in it on one of the spouncers and just kind of toned it down a little bit in some places where I didn't see the sky peeking through. So I'm happy with these now and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. And that's just put the spatters on. And for those of you who don't know how to spatter, I'll show you how I do it. One thing that I've been using lately that comes in handy is I just took a cardboard box and I cut out the sides, two sides here, and left this lip. So I'm just going to set my bowl in here. It helps a little bit, you know, it doesn't keep it off of everything, but... I'm just going to show you an example of how I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do it off camera. But I took some of my Americana acrylic paint. This is in uh, whitewash and I just did a few squirts with a spray bottle in my palette dish. I haven't even mixed it up yet. And like I said, I have an old toothbrush and we'll just mix it up. And all I'm going to do is kind of tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to run my finger along the brush and the spatters will come out. And these are our stars. Okay. And just like with anything else, there's my coffee pot. You're going to have a variation. Um, you know, work with it until you get the way you like it. And if you want bigger stars, you can paint them on. You could do with a little toothbrush, a little toothbrush, a little toothpick, and something like that. So 
that's the idea there. Try the box idea if you haven't already, you know, I know they sell things like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the cup. And then when that's done, we're going to put the sealer on and pull the tape off and we'll be done. So see you in just a few minutes. All right, here we are. I'm happy with the star placement. And if you're not happy with yours, again, you can always just go over it with black, tone things down, however you want to make your galaxy. It's your world. The last step, you guys, I told you this was quick and easy. I'm going to take some of this Americana acrylic sealer. Um, use whatever sealant you would like. This is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to do this on camera because I'm going to actually take it outside. Like I said, make sure you, if you seal it with a spray sealant, do it in a well-ventilated area. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'll see you back here when they're all sealed. And then the last thing we're going to do is remove the tape and they'll be done. So see you when they're glossy. Okay, these are all sprayed. And I would say they're 99% dry. Look how beautiful, right? Isn't that amazing? Just a little easy, easy technique. And there you have it. So the last step is just to remove this tape. And then obviously you're going to want to wash carefully the, you know, the rim and everything just before you eat. But just carefully... Just pull off that tape, come off with no problem, and you'll have a nice edge, a lip on your bowl. Okay. All right. Uh, are you in love or what? I hope you guys like this. I will put the link to the original pin that inspired me below. Please check it out. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you do. Please tag me in any videos you do or any pictures you have if this has inspired you. I love to see what you guys are doing. Again, hand wash only. Peace and love, you guys. Talk to you soon. And here's the final product, you guys. I really had a blast making these, so let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace and love.